last time on Stills for Seven podcast. Still nation, still a nation. What's going on? This shit got Kevin here, man. Got my brother Dread over here. What's going on, bro? Bang, bang, still a gang. It's always good to be part of the F47 podcast. And what a, what, a, what a victory Monday we got set up for us, man. I'm happy with the result I seen less yesterday. Steelers defense forces a turnover within the first three drives. That happened. The first drive. Fire, fire, fire. The next one was Steelers Jalen Warren finishes the game with more than I couldn't wait to get to this one. Mm-hmm. We're in unpro. We're fraudulent. We're an unproven team. We're not battle tested. We haven't went up against anybody. Bro, so this game been the Paul Tyson match. That is <laughs> fun. That was cool. Still is for seven podcast, you already know what it is, man. Gang, gang, you already know what it is, man. Still a gang, it's a gang, it's a gang. You already know what it is, man. Ball for that Super Bowl, Still is for seven, yeah. We about to go get it. Still a gang, we winning. Go down in the trenches, yeah. We ain't trying to kick it like Drake. We do it for the sixes, then we can kick it, yeah. This our division, the other three go missing. Come on, let's get it, yeah. This our division, Super Bowl, let's win it. Still is for seven, yeah. We about to go get it. Still a gang, we win it. Go down in the trenches, yeah. We ain't trying to kick it like Drake. We do it for the sixes, then we can kick it, yeah. This our division, the other three go missing. Come on, let's get it, yeah. This our division, Super Bowl, let's win it. Still in Asia. <laughs> What's good, man? It's Wednesday, motherfucking night. We're only doing this show because of Thursday. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I even go further, man, let me get my let me get my twin up in here. You feel me? You feel me? Hold up, let me get my twin in here, man. Dread man in the building. What's good, bro? Say his name, and he appears. Ready to be locked in for the Wednesday night edition of the S47 podcast. Let's get it. Let's get it. And we ain't done. We ain't done because it's time to get money. And when it's time to get money, pick up the phone and we call Mitch. What's good, my brother? <laughs> What's up? What's happening? Yeah, man. And What's look, happening? Miles Yo, Miles Garrett been talking hella crazy. You feel me? So it's time for us to dig a pick. And if we're going to dig a pit for him, you feel me? I'm stretching. I'm, I'm reaching, but I'm trying. If we're going to dig a pit for him, we got to call my guy Terrence. What's good? <laughs> it's like got T. We got T. T. in the building. <laughs> <laughs> we got T. T. in the building. Before we get started, let me shout out my niece. You feel me? Shout out my niece, man. I talked to her a little earlier for the show. She said, I'm a student on the chat. Hi. <laughs> 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 Yo, fellas, how y'all doing, man? I'm juicy, bro. Cooler. Cooler. Yo, before we get into this game, man, I'll take Jake. I want to talk about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that me? Somebody got crazy feedback. Hold on. That might be turns. Yeah, that's turns. Yeah, it might be oh, a headphone. That, that used to happen when I had my other headphones. I'm like, yo, what the? You know what I mean? That background before, noise. Yeah, before we get into it, man, shout out to some former Stellas. Some former Stellas, big dogs, OGs, former Pittsburgh Stellas. Heinz Ward and James Harrison made to the Pro Football Hall of Fame semifinals. They took another step, fellas. They took another step. How y'all feel about that, man? Ecstatic. If it's anybody who's been deserving of being in the Hall of Fame for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the last 20 or so years, 
it's these two gentlemen. They gave us so many good memories. They made so many plays, and they've already stamped their they've already made their stamp as Steelers legends. Man, they've been here before, so I'm, I'm am I happy for them? Yeah, but I I until they, I hear them that they got in, then I really be happy, man. Cause both of them been semi finals before, so right. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, when you talk about what a Pittsburgh Steeler is, you know, who else better than the two? You know, you got Heinz Ward, he played receiver, but he played it like a defender. Mm. You know, he was a bruiser. He was a yeah. bully on the offensive side of the ball. And then you go look at, tuck your chain in, who's coming? D. Bo. <laughs> tuck I'm your chain in. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm going to tuck mine in. I'm cool. How look? <laughs> <laughs> but now I, I, I agree, man. Um, Heinz Ward, I want him to get in, bro. I feel like Heinz Ward is the only receiver with a thousand catches that didn't get in yet. That's eligible. I think Steve, did Steve Smith get a thousand? I think he got a thousand. I don't know if he's gonna get in. He might get in because he's a he's he part of the media now. And um, it was a tight end. I got a thousand catches. Who was it? Was it Kelsey? Yeah, Kelsey over thousand. <clears throat> Probably. I know it was a tight end that got it, but almost everybody that was eligible for um, the Hall of Fame is in. And Heinz Ward, not only do he got a thousand catches, he's a Super Bowl MVP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. That part. Like, we don't he win that Super Bowl. A lot of people yeah. skip over that part. A lot of people yeah. skip over that part right there. Yeah. It's really because look, Willis McGate. Well, not Willis McGate. That was Ryan <laughs> uh, Ant Reed, the linebacker. <laughs> Ant you got Reed, Ant Reed, and you got the linebacker from the Bay. Keith Rivers. Keith Rivers. Bye. Um, there was somebody else too. Um, I think he passed away. So uh, he was play. He played for the Broncos. Some Ferguson. His last name is Ferguson. Oh, I I I, I vaguely too. remember who you talking about. I mean, uh, Hans, they made rules for Hans Ward. Hans uh-huh. Ward was the only one that Ray Lewis would try to chump, but Hans Ward is laughing the whole time. <laughs> like, <you laughs> Hans Ward laughed at everybody. <laughs> you feel me? Like, like, and so I'm really. I hope Hans Ward get in, man, because he's like, he to me, he set the standard for. The stiller receivers after him, you know what I mean. Yeah. And like right now, George Pickens is getting it as far as like being a little aggressive without the ball, right? Whatever. But Hines Ward set that standard. You feel me? Oh, Hines uh-huh. AB was a good blocker when he wanted to be. You feel me? He was cracking folks. Juju was cracking yeah. folks. You feel me? Like uh, Martavius cracked folks. Like mad people that play receiver for the Steelers after Hines Ward was cracking folks. You feel me? So. I, I would love for Hines Ward to get his, his shine. James Can Harrison. I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till you do your James Harrison part. I just wanted to add something for James, but I'll wait till after okay. you go. Because I was about to ask you about James. You feel me? Like how, Now that we got Hines Ward out the way, James Harrison is someone who doesn't have the stats. Like, if you look at his stat, he'll be like, yeah. he'll be like, yeah. yeah, that's my guy. Listen, yeah, hey, dog. Super, Bowl, to be Super in. Bowl would not be a victory for us if we yep. don't, if he does not catch that and have the longest interception return for a Super Bowl. Yeah. Hands down, we don't, we don't win that game. That, that pass, and the that pass to San Antonio Holmes is not is non existence if we don't get that interception. Because remember, they were going in for a score. They was either going to get seven or three, either or. Yeah. But, but right. my reason why I really think James Harrison, man, like, let's just go over James Harrison's story, bro. Like, James Harrison was picked up, released six times between the Steelers and the Ravens, man. Like, and to have a fortitude and to have a mindset and to have, a, to have that belief in himself that no matter what y'all keep telling me, I'm a, I know I belong here. And then when he got there, bro, like, Tell me he didn't fit the still a linebacker away like a Greg Lloyd or a Kevin Green. Tell me he ain't fit that LeVon Kirkland, that mindset. Like, he was dogging boys. He was Remember? perfect. He was bro. perfect for us, bro. Kill him. Yeah. Like, straight bully out there. Yeah. His attitude was perfect for the personality of, this, of the team. He, you know he fit the city perfectly. He yeah. is a still yeah. city boy perfectly. Mm. Yeah. 
And just and throw stats out the window just for a second. Look at the overall impact that he made. Yeah. yeah. He made it. The thing is, when he was on the field, you knew it. When he wasn't on the field, you knew it. And shout out to YouTube user Pittsburgh Dad. He's a funny guy. Uh, later on in James Harris's career, he compared um, James Harrison to like a fine wine of that special car. You only bring him out for special occasions. Uh -huh. Hey, D, he was tough. He was tough all the way across the board. It ain't, it ain't, man, y'all, all of us know what he meant to Pittsburgh. You know yes. what I'm saying? And he got a defensive uh, player of the year award. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and he got a chip. Right. I mean, the two thousands Baltimore Ravens had Ed Reed and Ray Lewis. We had Troy and um, Harrison. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. we had we had I mean we had dogs. We had Lamar Woodley. Oh yeah, I mean we had Lamar dogs. Yeah, we had we had, all, we had we had dogs. Right. Like a lot of people hey, like Aaron to see. Smith. Aaron uh, Smith was a dog. Kansas yeah. Casey Captain was a dog. Aaron yeah. Smith. Go down Aaron the list. Smith, Aaron Smith was my favorite player on defense. Bro. Reason being, you was not running the ball. You was not running the ball. Him and Casey shut it down. And what's, 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 what's our other guy's name? Not Casey Hampton, but number 99. Brett Keezer. Brett Keezer. Brett Keezer. He was more the the yeah. the, the stopping the run. Bro, you had no chance. And, and it's like when Aaron Smith retired, you saw significant difference. You started to see a hundred yard players coming through. You mean hundred yeah. yard rushers come through. So Aaron, and Smith, even, he, he in my Hall of Fame. I think he is still uh, even still the still underrated Alan Fanica. Alan Fanica don't get the credit he deserves, even though he's a Hall of Famer. People sleep on Alan Fanica. He went to the offensive line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he already got to go, Jackson. He threw me off like y'all know what. Yeah. He's, he's shifting gears. Like, I'm sitting oh. there like, hold up. Oh, yeah, we jumped D-line, O-line, but we talking Hall of Famers. I mean, like, I... He got a jacket. He got a jacket. He got a jacket. But yeah, I just feel like a lot of people... Yeah, I just feel like... Jacket. You feel me? He got a hey, still... Fanica was going... Fanica was going... I feel like people don't mention him for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. But but I, I guess in this case we really can't say he ain't mentioned because he got a jacket. So he his recognition and his due process was met. Like he yeah. he he reached yeah. that you know that Mount Rushmore of the greats, you know, when it comes to Hall of Fame. Hey. So he wasn't hey, overlooked. Did, Especially did Demonte Dawson, did Demonte Dawson get a jacket? Yo. Okay. I forgot about Demonte Dawson. Yo, shout out yeah, to I him. Did, I don't know how, oh, I don't know what he's doing nowadays. But like when I first started Stills for Seven podcast, yo, he used to be in tune, yo. Like he used to really like talk to all the fans, yo. I don't know what he be doing nowadays, but shout out to him, man. I ain't watching him play you know, before my time. You feel me? But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was a dog. Yeah, he, he was, was a dog, dog too, bro. <laughs> Really? Well, I, don't, I don't know if I want a, a, a money match. I don't know if we wanted to answer that because he just said it was before his time, which would mean that made us a little older. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You, see all the, you see all the grays in this joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you feel me? <laughs> nah, that's season, all love. Season out this thing, you feel me? All right, yeah. um, yeah. Who's gray? Who, hold up, who, who gray? Who just said, all right, um? Me? Oh, so I <laughs> That's what we doing? Is that is that what we doing, dog? Hey, fool! I'm already on up status. I'm already I, with it. I, but I don't know. Look, if I don't, can he say that to us? Can I? Look, I'm, I'm the youngest. <laughs> I'm the youngest up here, and I'm an uncle, so it ain't nothing. We all old. Well, I'm old. You know what? I, I got two. I got two nieces, <laughs> so I'm technically on two. So yeah, yeah. So I'm about to say, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm a grandfather. I can't say nothing. <laughs> see, see, see now. See now you now you showing your age. It is what like, it is, bro. Like now you telling your age flat out. Hey, bro. Hey, nah, he's, a pop, though, he's a pop. He's a pop. Yeah, real <laughs> live, real live. <laughs> yeah, man. So salute the Heinz Lord. Salute the James Harrison man. Absolutely. Real quick, we're gonna take a quick break, and we get back. We are gonna talk about this little this little weird beef. That I feel is one sided between Miles it's Garrett. Not even, and it's Rock. not even a B for real, bro. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird, man. It's weird, man. But we'll be right back, y'all.
got in contact with Joy Porter's people, and, and I said, I ain't got no problem with y'all, man. Y'all not really on my radar. To beat the Colts, the Steelers will have to get over 150 yards on the ground, and Justin Fields will have to throw over two touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> Where he at? Oh, this dog is down. I told Jonathan Taylor and his mother this summer, this is the one week I ain't room for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hold on, Seth, hold on. With it and all, you feel me? It caught fire. It got attention of uh, some major, major celebs, you feel me? Um, I actually just read a text from one. Of <laughs> he said, yo, Kev. Matter of fact, he sent the video. I'm going to play it. <laughs> Hey dog, yeah. why you play that? <laughs> hey, ain't, ain't money in this. Ain't money in this. Why you ain't never wilding. looking at the camera, dog? Hey, hey, hey. Money hey, in this. Turns. Why you ain't always looking at the camera, dog? Hey, turns. Dang, all I saw was your no. Well, no, no I don't even want to say that. Hey, turns. That. You needed to be on here for that episode, bro. I swear. Yeah. I swear you needed to be on here for that episode, bro. Hey, Ken was wildin'. <laughs> Who was dude would talk about he knew all these people. I was like, yo, yo we gonna get him back on the show, man. Wait, you is that man. the one? That, is that the one that was talking in the chat that one time? And then he said, I'm gonna come on next show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He know he, he got he know Joey Porter and them. You feel me? So we gonna see yeah. if he can get Joey Porter and them on the show. So we gonna holler at him. You feel me? But <laughs> we gonna get it in right here. Miles Garrett versus CJ Watt. Dog, I didn't even watch no clips. I just seen like a little quote from Miles Garrett, but I actually seen a video what TJ said. And I'm like, yo, Miles, talk about first of all, Miles Garrett. I got hold on, man. Wait a minute, where is it at? Where is it at? Because it's gonna be short and sweet, but you feel me? It, it's needed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you built like the hawk, bro. Every time <laughs> I turn around, you on some sensitive stuff, bro. I like what is what's up with you and TJ? Why you got him on your mind like that? That's because you know you wasn't supposed to be defensive player of the year that year. You're not you are good, you're a good football player. I don't even say great to some degree. They need to trade you out of here because I'm tired of seeing your name. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. But dog, this love, like, I don't what you call it. Like, I think love hate. Love hate got a Brother shrine. Luke. Yeah. A shrine behind him with number 90 on it. And he might got Derek Carpenter, not Derek, Derek Watt up there too. Mm -hmm. He might have David up there too. He loved him some some Watt, some Trent James. I keep forgetting his name. They Trent live in Red Green up here. That's Trent funny. James. Yeah. I didn't even know that was his name, low key. I just call him TJ. I ain't never looked it up to see what his what? government was. I thought it was yeah. Trent Jordan, bro. Trent so, we, Jordan so this James. is the Cav Easy Show, everybody. Oh, he back. He's yeah. back. My bad. He's my bad. <laughs> I'm back. Yo, 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 it got a little serious. It got a little serious. I had to. You know, I, I, I you got know, you. I was about to co-host you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Then that that. that I got you. I was about to go ahead and be like, yeah, so Kev stepped away for a minute. Tell us what y'all yeah, think. Man. Yo, yeah, I had, to, I had to breathe, man. I had to breathe easy. You feel me? But, yo, what's going on with this Miles Garrett and TJ situation? This Miles Garrett situation, man. Nothing. Nothing. Right. It yeah. ain't nothing, bro. It just all rap. It's all rap, bro. Like it ain't, the, ain't you know this TJ ain't even really addressed this shit, bro. Like it's not even not even worth addressing. Honestly. But what is it to address though? Like, let's like I, I think I think the problem is Miles Miles is Miles is miserable in Cleveland. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the best way I could put it. He's miserable in Cleveland. And the thing is, he's been playing outstanding, but his team hasn't really produced um, in the win-loss column the way he wanted to as far as when, as it pertains to wins. So I think the issue for me is that I don't understand. I do understand 
I just got this. This this is my perspective, Kev. The league got it out. Mike Tomlin is now in his 17th season. And we can and we can say now clearly that he still would not have a losing season. 17 seasons straight without a losing mm-hmm. season, right? Mm-hmm. He's done it with Duck Hodges. He's done it with Kenny Pickett. Mason Rudolph. He's done it with Mason Rudolph. He's done it with uh Trubisky. Like, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. Not, just that name. That name alone gives me that not, name not, not, me. not not so not to mention, man. And then when you look he at and, and you look at and you look at what TJ has done um for our defense to constantly be in uh and <laughs> constantly be in position. Like <laughs> For TJ to keep getting snubbed for the uh, for the awards, I think Miles is tired of hearing it. But the but the truth of the matter is TJ is getting snubbed. Like yeah. numbers don't lie, and and the num- not only the numbers, the, the 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 impact that he has when he's not rushing don't lie either. Now the same can be said for Miles Garrett is the same, right? Because teams ain't just going one on one block with Miles Garrett at all. They're throwing two and three people at him as well. You have to. But Miles don't have a have decent person on the other side that he can then get the credit for them as well. You know what I'm no. saying? Like, he's not making that impact. His impact is only felt when he's able to do it. You know what? Though, he's Tom? not creating that opportunity for other people, for them mm-hmm. to eat off and for them to, you know. So that's the, that's the difference for me. Like, Miles is great, but Miles ain't make ain't have ain't, ain't showing and making the other ones around him look great as well. And I'm not saying that's why Alex Hasmith is eating because I feel Alex Hasmith is very capable of being that player for a team. But with that being said, um, it it makes us it, it it makes it makes it look like when they talk about coaching trees, like yo, this dude Nick Herbig, he got Nick Herbig looking good out here. Mm. You know what I mean, like. Miles, you can't plug somebody else on the other side of Miles and say, Miles got them looking good. No, he don't. Because Miles the only one eating. And when Miles ain't eating, the defense is struggling. Yeah. You know, you know what, Tyrus? You know, you know the problem is, though? He making this about him. Yeah, last year was the only. Last year was not the only time that TJ got snubbed. Yeah. It, it, it's not, this is not about him. It's about that something that's been going on for years. Like it, it ain't just start last year. We can, we can go, we can go on a rant about the times when Aaron Donald got it and and TJ could have got it. Let's keep it a keep it a thousand. You know, uh, what I'm uh, that that uh, year, that yeah. year, that, that year, that TJ, uh, TJ had like twenty one sacks. They yeah, gave, I, they, they gave it yeah. to Aaron Donald. But 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 I I I don't I don't I I wouldn't take none away from Aaron Donald. I'm sorry. Oh, bro. That, so Bro, I would, you, you can make your case. I they need a they needed all eleven people on offense to try to keep Donald away. That like that's just a different beast. Bro, twenty one sacks then. I get it, but I get it, but TJ ain't facing eleven people hitting him at in one play. So and he's still raising havoc. They don't win a Super Bowl if it's not for him. Hands down, you can't take hold on, that away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not debating that. I'm not debating that. But, but what I'm saying that. is, we just talking like, about we just talking about just defense, just playing defense, bro. Because oh, that man yeah. had 21 sacks, he was getting double and triple. Just oh like yeah, he was. You feel me? 21 sacks is 21 sacks, dog. And y'all all it. know it. <laughs> I, I get it, but I mean. You got Don't get me guard. wrong. You Don't got me two wrong. guards, Donald, the center. Aaron Donald, that dude. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You got, you got two guards tipping in the center, hitting in the fullback, trying to take him out. That's running he's back. That's where he's at. He's there. So all of them have to hit him. TJ on one side. Exactly. Now, the left tackle ain't going to run over here and try to chip TJ. He's too far. Hold on. But hold on. But, 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 but they play different wrong. positions. They play different positions, though. You're talking yeah, about right you talking about right You got to add that to it. Like, yo, Aaron yeah. Donald got to get chipped by all these guys. They're in oh. arms reach of them for the most part. Oh. But he a defensive tackle. That ain't that ain't even really his job. His job is disrupt is to disrupt. It ain't to it ain't to cause an avalanche. Like he, hey. he ain't supposed to, that ain't like that's like well, we who's uh Keanu Benton? Who's our who's our uh in front of you the right. center? Keanu, no, you right? right? You right. That's yeah. like Keanu. Can you imagine, dog, if Keanu Benton was playing like Aaron Donald? Hey, that's the boy. 
If he playing oh. like Eric Donald the three four, come on, have some Christmas. <laughs> come on, you talking about the steel curtain coming back? Man, no, it'd be worse. It'd be hey, worse. Hey, what's you know that why thing we used to play when we was younger? And we used to everybody had it in, and they would lift it up. Yeah. And then somebody got running. My bad, Cam. This is a little bit before you. I'm old enough for that. I'm old enough for that. <laughs> nah, but he, he might have been in that. He might have been. Yeah. In. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, he was the one running through that joint. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, Cam, you was running yeah. through that joint, bro. <laughs> 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 oh gosh! <laughs> hey, but not not just the Earl Donald joint though. Other joints, man. He could have at least won the ball three times. No, for no sure, guy, bro. No. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I agree. I ain't but I, I just don't take it from Aaron. Aaron Donald's top three of his position ever, man. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> he said no, no doubt. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> Dre. Dread this whole situation, you feel me? How you feel about it before we close this little Miles Garrett situation? I ain't gonna hold you. I hope hold on, Miles Garrett is gonna be on Dan Moore's side. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna need, gonna I'm gonna need yeah, he's gonna be on Dan Moore's side, but I'm, I'm interested to see what difference. I'm interested to see like, if that's even gonna make a damn difference. But overall, how I feel about the whole. Um, TJ Watt and um, Miles Garrett beef or a little feud or whatever, it's one sided as hell. I mean, there's really what is it to, like what what is it that what is it to really talk about? And to kind of piggyback off of what Terrence said, I mean, the oh, it, it's like it's, it's an up in the air thing. It's like, why? What the hell is the point of you even addressing this? It's like you're getting your numbers regardless, and like what, like, like what we we're saying. TJ has help. Well, I wouldn't want, well, you know, I don't want to say he has help, but he does have help. TJ has help. He do got help. <laughs> yeah, he do got help. You ain't lying. You said right. 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 He arguably has more help than Miles Garrett, like what you were saying. But guess what? Regardless, the numbers are still the same. So I don't get it. I mean, he's gonna get it, like he's gonna get his numbers regardless. But how he just is how, how TJ just lives rent free in Miles Garrett's head is just ridiculous to me. But we obviously know who the better defensive player is, especially hey, man, when it comes. If, if your team only got just, like three right wins, up, right? if your if your you team had three wins, you probably be in your head too. <laughs> yeah. I rest my case. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drink today. Bum. Hey, he know he know TJ got that. It's like it's like when the, you got two guys that play the same position, right? And yeah. they show up to the and they show up to the the uh, the dance, the homecoming dance, and they both think they that guy. And one guy show up and he think his date like that till TJ pop up with his date. He like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 ain't know, I ain't know what you said at first. You sound a little crazy. He got, I had a, I had they a, got. He saw. with the best chick. He jealous. He mad. He, he went out of. He went out of Cleveland. He went out of Cleveland. He like, bro. Who invited this bamboo? <laughs> yeah. Right. Y'all knew I was coming. Yeah. <laughs> this, look, this is how we're going to wrap this up right here. We can't even blame Miles Garrett. We got to blame the media. I'm about to say the media. I'm about to say that. Him all off season. All season. Just because he's built like the Hulk, the red one. You feel me? Like, that's the reason why they buffing him. You feel me? And he's taking that to the head. And it's like, mm. yo, you see TJ really wrecking stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you have your moments, but TJ is another beast. Like we like, yo, TJ, we need to play. He makes it. When they say Miles, we need to play. Like yo, I ain't asked for a tackle after a two yard gain. Make a play. Right. He not gonna make a play tonight, man. But we gonna see. We, I mean, not today. Tomorrow. He not gonna make a play tomorrow. You feel me? But that's that, man. Now, fellas, know, what time we got here, fellas? It's about that time. It's about that motherfucking time. You feel me? But <laughs> before we do that, we're going to take a little break. <laughs> and we'll right. be back. Yeah. Back to our scheduled announcements. <laughs> Who let him out the pack? 
Can't even open a pack. It was still like that. Get back. Thank in the pack. you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Yo, <laughs> Uh, I'm, about to, I'm about to market that joke on a shirt. Thank you for giving me an idea for that. I'm now going to market, put your ass on a pack on t shirt and sell them damn things on eBay. Stephen A. Smith, bro. Stephen A. Smith came, he was on first take when he said this. I quote, Pittsburgh looked like it looked like the uh, the worst team in the division. Not at all. Sean Elliott. I can't pick TJ Watt, and it has to be Deshaun Elliott because of the play that he's making. Roger got dag on Jones. Costly penalties. And the thing is, he. Or not. Wait or not. Let's get into nah. it, man. No it's jokes, no games. We're going to go clockwise with it. I don't know how y'all looking on the camera, but it's, when they go clockwise, oh, they don't even, they even clockwise when I do it with my fingers. Uh, it's different. But um, yeah. Yeah. check this out. We, I ain't going to go first. I'll go last. But it's how we get the first one. The first one bring, it, bring in the first one. Hold on, hold on. They bring in the first one. Bring in the first one. All right, man. TJ Y will have more tackles for loss than Miles Garrett. Are you with it or no? Ooh. Mm. Oh, nah, nah. Ooh. Tackles for loss? Yeah. Tackles for loss. <clears throat> well, considering how Russ looked last week with the rest of our O line, uh, <laughs> I'm going to not count stats. Wait, not, not, I'm not counting stats. Not that. Just tackles for loss. As far as like running backs, the running backs are a running quarterback. Not that. Take sacks oh, out of it. Never mind. Well, if if we're counting that, then I'm with that. I'll say he does. I'm gonna say nah. I'm gonna say, say yeah. Miles <laughs> Garrett ass. How about that? How about that? Miles Garrett ass now. How about that? So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man got aggressive as a bug with that. All right. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Right. No, nah, I think that's the good one because it's up in the air with that one for real. For the yeah, that's on the reason line. I said nah because it's up in the air. Because you know Najee, sometimes he get cracked at the line. Sometimes. Mm. Sometimes. But yeah. Sometimes my old line, line uh, cough it up too. Nah, Steelers will have nah. more. The Steelers than and Browns will have more than six hundred yards total combined. Nah, I agree. Nah. Nah. nah, I'm with that. All Ready? right. Hey, yes, why, why you think? Why you think that's going to happen? Because I think uh, we get a couple of um, deep throws from um, from <laughs> Russ. <laughs> we might even get a couple. We might even get a couple of other uh, wide wide outs that uh, that go off. So and. Yeah, we need more than a couple <laughs> to get the six hundred. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, bro. Like he said, a couple. Like, Let's see. And <laughs> y'all playing, playing outside of the speaker, so it's kind of like I saying other stuff. You feel me? So I'm over here laughing. So don't mind me at all. Oh <laughs> man, that's oh. the reason why I'm careful with what I say on this damn podcast. <laughs> you, might, you might be good. It's the base. It's the base. You hey, say, bro. wait, hey, you say, Dre, you, you care for what you say? Dre, because hey, we Dre, flag, gotta watch it, Dre. If we had a flag, <laughs> I'm throwing a flag every time. Before you start speaking, I just want to throw the flag. Just because I know it's about to be something off the pot. Oh, see. Nope. <laughs> see. <laughs> like, we, we, ain't, we ain't doing no Diddyism around this mofo. Uh -uh. Yeah. It ain't no Diddyism. <laughs> See, he got that right next to his baby oil as he said. All right, all right, all right. Let me baby show you. Baby oil is wicked. <laughs> yeah. All right, all all jokes aside. But yeah, I, I think they um, I think combined get a total of six hundred yards. All right. There we go. I'm can, like, I, can, I, I, can I ask? Can I can I ask Dre a question? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Dre. Yo. All right, so you you saying that the Steelers and the Cleveland Browns offense combined is going to get 600 yards, right? Yes. Have you have you watched the Cleveland Browns highlight or game within the last couple of weeks? Oof. You know what? That is a damn good point. So you right. one of them dudes that they say that bridge is like it's connecting with the other bridge. Go jump on it. It looked like it's like Cleveland ain't putting up no Cleveland's not putting up any yardage. Like that's my thing. I'm not even really put I'm not even saying no nah on the strength of us. I'm but saying no nah on the strength of but Cleveland. What if, but what if we put up four hundred and they put up two? Do you think they can get two? This small again, buddy. Dang, Kev dropped everybody off. Nah, but yeah, it's not, the thing is, I don't think get, I don't think us get two. <laughs> yeah, I hey, don't think us get two. Hey, hey, Terrence, hey, oh, to, to piggyback to what you just said, mm -hmm. um, I think if I remember correctly, Winston threw for like three hundred some yards, even though they got whoop. Yeah, he threw for like three hundred some yards, but I don't, I don't <laughs> think, I don't think that, that we it's going to combine for over uh six hundred because I don't think. I think we. I don't even think we're gonna crack four hundred. I don't I think, think they gonna can. crack three. I don't think they even get close to three. I feel like we're shutting them out though. <clears throat> Me too. I feel like it's going. I feel like it's going to be a lopsided game. So, I mean, like Cav said. I mean, somebody said, yeah, Jameis might have threw for three. That's garbage time, right? Yeah. That's yeah. because they yeah. down by so much. You got to come yeah, back. He had, so, he had to throw. He had to so keep throwing the football. Yeah. So, so if that's the case, then you could make a case for yes. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, it's Thursday night football. It's in Cleveland. Um, Jameis Winston and that offense, like, you don't know what's what of that offense. The only person that we know we need to stop is Nick Chubb. Mm -hmm. And 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 Mr. David Chubb. and Juco. Mr. Chubb. Yeah, hey, and yes, hey, you're look. correct. As my head coach says, Mr. Chubb. Hey, look here. I'm a I'm very weary of this football game. I am, because I know we 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 what we've been doing in Cleveland the last four or five times we've been there. So I'm very worried this game. I think we should take this game more seriously. We took the Baltimore game to be honest with you, because I, I feel like yeah. it, this could be a letdown spot right here. Yeah, you know what I mean? so, I'm oh with yeah. that all that being said, I'm gonna say nah. <laughs> I'm gonna say, that, I'm gonna say no. Nah, I'm gonna say no, nah, but I think it's gonna get close. I think it's gonna be close. Probably get 250, 270, maybe 300 and 250. I'm gonna get close. You know what I mean? Um, uh, I think so too. I am. I, I agree with you, Mitch. As far as this game, this is a game we can lose for some reason. And, and they, this is a small theory I'm starting to put together. Quarterbacks that don't give up. Don't care at all about who they throw it to. They kind of they kind of carve up us as a team. You feel me? Dak Prescott is one of those guys. He That's on us, though. That be on us and the coverages that we play. You see what I'm saying? That be a lot of that be on us. And it might be on us again this game because famous James, famous Damus Amos. <laughs> He gonna he gonna throw that thing. You feel me? Get about like he five days. He's coming all over the field. <laughs> he gonna try to do one of these. I'm not gonna do it because it look crazy. You feel me? You know yeah. what he was doing on camera. You feel nah, me? don't do so, that. Don't don't do I, that. Don't do that, kid. Don't, don't I, do that. I don't think they're gonna try to. Stack. I think Nick Chubb is still working himself back. I think maybe next game he'll probably be close to his old self, but it might not be this season at all. You know what I mean? So. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, if we don't beat them in the first quarter, if we don't take their heart in the first quarter, it may be over. I mean, no, nah, it may be a long night for uh, a difficult game. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying no. Dress that year. We all said no on that. Next one. Najee Harris will have more rushing yards than Nick Chubb and Ford combined. I don't know Ford's oh, uh... As much as I want to say yes, I want to say I, yes, but I gotta say no. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. Do with this one because he's not. He's gonna be sharing the rock. It ain't gonna be just Nas. So <clears throat> if it yeah. was just Nas, I'd be like possibly, but because I know Warren gonna get a lot of a nice amount of touches. I know Nas is and passing probably gonna get some too. So it's like 
I don't gotta say nah. Now, I, now this I, might I, be a bonus. Yo, guys, this might be a bonus. Are you with it or no? <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that Warren uh, gets gets more rushing yards than Najee. Nah, that's that's not that's not a biggie to me. That has I'm gonna, go ahead and say, I'm gonna take that back. Yeah, like sixty and Najee had forty, or the game before that. I I think it, was it, was the game. it was just came back. It was the Washington yeah. game. The Washington game when he just came back. I'll yeah. take that bet. I'll take uh, Warren over Najee for yards in this game if we're doing, you know. But yeah, other <laughs> than uh, we say turn. I say nah. Yeah. I don't think so because, like, if, <clears> I, <throat> if we look back, you know, to Jerome Ford last year, um, Jerome Ford is a different back than the Chubb. Jerome Ford is a more quicker back. And, you know, that's one of the things we kind of struggle with um, mm -hmm. is those quick, elusive backs. Um, so I actually think Nick Chubb would get – I mean, I think Jerome Ford would get more carries than Nick Chubb, and I think Jerome Ford will lead them in rushing yards on tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. I agree with everyone here. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no because for some weird reason, like Dredd said, Jalen Warren is going to go crazy. But I think it's gonna be a combination. Whoa, of whoa, 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 Kev! Wait a minute, Kev. That did you just bad. say Jay? Kev, did you just say Jalen Warren was gonna? He, he was, can you say that again? <laughs> Jalen Warren is gonna go crazy. Ain't nothing crazy about that. Ain't no, crazy. I'm just going. I'm just going back to the game when we played and Jalen fumbled, and I remember. Oh no! Oh my you God! Won. Yo, are you, I don't are you about that. He can go through a game and not fumble, but once he fumble, y'all should know me by now. I'll uh, praise you in every game, I'll praise you every game. But if you fumble, I don't like you no more. <laughs> yeah, leaves. You like you, you like here. Didn't I tell y'all like red lipstick? Is that pink? Get out. Get out. Just go. Get out. Get out. I like. That's what you tell the chick. You say, wait, is that is that pink? You know I like it. Get out. Let's go. He said, oh, I like them. Cam, hey, boy, I swear. Look, if you saw Cam's face, <laughs> hey, dog, on my grandmother's grave. Cam face just now. <laughs> hey, Cam, you know what? You, you, I, I'll tell you after, after the show. <laughs> I'm going to say it after the show. Yeah, my niece is watching, man. We're gonna keep it clean. Oh, <laughs> oh, now you want to keep it clean. <laughs> See, like that's just Uncle Cab always. <laughs> oh my god. Drag, yeah, drag. Nah, nah, Are you I putting think, on a D-rag drag? Uh, general War no kids do for like one of those games. Like Najee had a couple games, but Jalen Warren is kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want to say after uh, Jalen Warren have a game where he fumbles, the next game he turn up. That was last. Game. That was last game. That was last yeah, game. He, yeah. Yeah. he had uh, he had a pretty good game against Baltimore. Both of them did actually. So after that, now it's time for him to turn up for real against the Browns. You feel me? So I don't know. I'm I, I just I just want us to play consistent, man. I want us to play. I want us to play consistent. I want us to play uh, determined. I want us to play with confidence. Like, I just want them to execute. And I think if we do that, I think we win. It's hey, just hey, when hey. they it's when they get sketchy and, you know, yeah. like, shout out to Broderick. Broderick been doing good. Like, Broderick's demeanor. Yeah. Like, when we played that Baltimore game, bro, like, his, his even though it was after the play, his it was like, yo. His, yeah, it's, like, it was, it was, was dogness. He wasn't he wasn't blocking like it all, but yeah. <laughs> but he, after he the in, play, your man was involved. He need to watch Darnell Washington block. <laughs> Darnell Washington needs to take Broderick. I'm like, this is how you dog. Yo, he was disrespectful. He was disrespectful, bro. Like, but I got something to ask all three of y'all, right? Mm -hmm. So, seen this, uh, seen this stat that Russell Wilson is like one of the worst at, in the red zone in the league, right? And I think, me personally, I was saying this last week while I was watching the game. I thought when we think when we get inside the 15, they should put Justin Fields in the game. Not the entire time, but in certain packages. And the reason I say that 
is because that run threat becomes a big a big threat when you in tight quarters. I, and, parents, and I, I know I know I, you know this. So 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 here's my pro and con with that, right? Uh -huh. The 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 pro is this. We I mean, well, one we've seen it. when it comes for Justin to let the ball go and throw it in the end zone, he's not doing that, right? So his best attribute is he's going to run. Now, if we just throw him out there and do like you know some RPOs, then okay, cool. This is my issue when it comes to us in the red zone. While Russ's numbers don't are not good, like let's also throw out the fact that we can't keep going twelve personnel in the red zone and thinking we. Like we're not spreading the defense out. Like we're running, we're running deep, we're running routes where we got uh Frymouth and Darnell on the same side. You got Darnell doing a flag route, you got Dar you got Frymouth doing the out route, and then you got a receiver coming across it, dragging from the other side of the field. So essentially we only have three routes. Like we gotta do a better job of spreading it out when we're in the red zone. We gotta like why can't we go out there and do a three, a three, four wide receiver set? You know what's so crazy when I watched that Kansas City game, bro? When you see somebody do a fake handoff, a, a fake handoff here, you fake the reverse, but then you hand it to this man and you get a nine yard carry. Like, we, I feel like, why, when, when are we going to start being creative in our play calling that we're making defenses think? Our plays be so vanilla that the defense pre snap, they don't got to go pre snap and be like, all right, this is what they look like. And if we do something different, no. Their pre-snap is generally the the right is the right um the right um mindset because we're not doing too much pre-snap motions. We're not doing too when we do a motion, we'll take a man across and we'll take him right back. Hey, hey, turns. All right, so I agree with you and I disagree with you. I I agree with the point about the innovation with the pre-snap motion and stuff. I agree with that part. I really do. But if you look, if you if you go back and look at the film. He do make the defense guess in this in this respect. He does a lot of plays out of the same formations. You see what I'm saying? Like he'll run a off tackle. He, he has in Justin. Huh? No, no. I'm talking, when I'm talking about he is in Arthur Smith. I'm talking about oh. Arthur Smith. I'm talking about the coordinator. Oh, okay. Um, I ain't talking about the red zone. I'm talking about overall. Overall. Okay. Now in the red zone, they have done a lot of shotgun. I think I think the route the route concepts that they're running inside of that inside of that area is not good. You but we're running bunch we're running bunch concepts in that area. Exactly. Exactly. And <clears> why are we I running bunch? I'm only I'm only saying the Justin Fields thing because of the run option also. And then like as a couple of times last week, particularly last week, that Russ, you know, of course if <clears> Russ was um, younger, of course he would brand that shit in. You know what I'm saying? If he was younger. Oh yeah. But we both we all know Justin got live legs. So, so, so let me I, ask you a question. What happens when the defense plays a cover zero? And what happens if the defense plays everybody in a box? Oh, is Justin out running the, the two free people coming? Don't oh, don't, I mean, big don't, don't run, run, no run pass um, option, RPO option. That that's what that's what I'm saying. Having what that I'm RPO saying is, option. When have we seen Justin throw it in the red zone? That was my first question. The, all right, so he got, that he was got my six, first question. He got he, might six, have like, he got six touchdown night. passes and five rushing touchdowns. But all five, those six touchdowns wasn't in the red zone. The five touchdowns he had, those all came in the red zone. He don't yeah. have any red zone touchdowns. He got not, red not zone passing. Not he got passing. red or oh, passing. Yeah, he got so, red zone so rushing. So, touchdowns. so the RPO doesn't work in that aspect because he's not going to throw it. That's my. That's what I'm saying. We become one dimensional. Yo, whatever so, happened to lining up, giving Najee the ball, get in the end zone, bro. You know why? Because it's, it's even harder when we to do, do that, down in the down there. It's tougher to do down. It's, not not it's, it's not. But it's not. Are you tough or not? Are you tough or not? And you know, Kev, you make you Kev make a great point. Huh? But Kev make a great point though. But it also comes back to when we do it, don't run an off tackle. Don't, right, don't run, run a go don't dive. run a stretch. Do a dive, dive into the one yeah. gap or the two gap. The one right. gap or the two gap. We don't do that. Nah, not down there. We don't. But here's another thing. Like, uh, I, I've been on the um, I've been on the train of Justin Fields getting up. You know, as soon as we get in the red zone, we switch him out anyway. Don't start. But yeah, anyway, I've been I've been on that train for a while anyway. But still, <laughs> pause. Because my my I'm pause. Sorry. But, I'm but here's sorry, my Kevin, concern. Pause. But here's my only concern about that is. If we're successful at that, 
our defense is going to get wise to it. They're like, okay, they're in the red zone. They're going to switch out for Justin Fields now because it's like an 80% chance that he's going to run the ball in anyway. That's, and the thing is, that, on, that's, that's what I'm saying. If, if like, like, like you were saying, Terrence, if you already know that he, you already assuming he's going to run the football. So, if, so if they're going all out, of course, it's going to be somebody open. Mitch, but did you guys see this? You, Mitch, also, I was Mitch, really you've said, seen this live and in person, Mitch. You've seen this at a college game, and I'm not saying because of status quo. Talk about mindset of coaches. Stubborn right. is stubborn. Um, pattern is pattern. We saw a head coach. I mean, we saw an offensive coordinator for a college football game run this switch out quarterbacks, switch out quarterbacks from the passing yeah. quarterback to the running quarterback, and he ran the same, same. exact play for downs in a row yeah. running the ball because everybody knew that quarterback wasn't throwing it. So what did they do? They did a cover zero all four downs. There was no throw. So my that, thing is this. Arthur hasn't been letting Justin throw it in the red zone because Justin ain't been throwing it. So do we trust think this Arthur to trust him to do it now? But this is the reason why we need to target Fry move to Washington more. I, my thing is why not let him throw it? You see what I'm saying? That and that that's 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 my that's my that's the thing I'm getting to turn. Why not let him throw it? Because it ain't like he can't throw it. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Right, right. That's not that. Right, right. Yeah, agree. That's what, that's I, I agree. Saying. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, I just think that when it comes to the utilizing of the tight ends, I think Russ is he's mastered that so much oh, better. Oh nah, hell no! Nah. Yeah. We, we so, about... so that's what I look for in the red zone because, like you said, bro, we were in a bunch of formations in a red zone. Mm. Because guess what? Calvin Austin's gonna get double teamed. Uh, George Pickens is going to get double teamed. Oh, Calvin is going to get double teamed. Yeah. George Pickens is going to get double teamed. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, 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 real quick. Let's finish these last two. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Let's yeah, because he gets awesome. I ain't going to lie. Let's finish this last two, man. The last two is pretty easy. Are you with it or not? Mike Williams will have, I mean, he will score a touchdown. Is that, is this Mike Williams no, you right. You right. You right. Yeah, you right. Yeah, right. Some reason. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna say nah. 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 Uh, yeah, I got nah. Bro, man. You know, hell no, man. I, I gotta I go with nah. I gotta. I, I gotta say nah. nah. I gotta say nah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against the brand. I'm gonna say yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, though? You, you know, you know what's throwing me off about that right there. It's how people crying about him. I'm like, bro, he just got to the team. We're like, what is what's y'all think this man? <laughs> like, what is, I don't get it, man. It take a minute for somebody to get in on especially Mike right. Tomlin. He don't play that with receivers. Receivers gotta learn the game. They gotta learn, they gotta learn the ways before they get up in there. The this defense, dude said hey, Kev, this dude said he ain't play no snaps. This dude's so much. He didn't play no snaps. I said, Yes, he did, bro. What are you yes, talking he about? I like did. I, I almost them. all our receivers play. I like, number like, 15 boy. definitely got in there. Exactly. Oh, my God. Hey, look. Number 15 was blocking his butt off, bro. Yeah. Yo, the hell, man. He was on injured reserve. I remember in uh, preseason, he was making plays. They said, yo, that German kid or Russian kid, whoever he is, whatever, <laughs> whatever he is, no disrespect. You feel me? He's out there doing his thing. So, I seen him punish him. I seen punish Humphrey. That's all I need to see. I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last one, y'all. Last one. Last one. Roger Jones will not get called for a penalty versus the Browns. Are you with it? No. 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 He's gonna get at least two of them more folks. <laughs> in the first in the first four minutes the of the game. Come on you now. This is a divisional game we talk about here. This is a divisional game. And we know it's going to be some rough house type of football. We know he will throw at least a flag or two. He, he, he did not in the first four minutes of the game. <laughs> and, and hold on, and real life, he going to be in the first scuffle. I agree. Uh, yeah, I'm with first, that. The first scuffle. He, uh, we getting the ball first. He's huh? he not, he not allowed to get no fights. Like, he's not allowed to get no fights. Nah, you call the ball, just hey, line up. You, you, know how to, you know how the woman told LeBron shut up and play basketball or whatever? Yo, LeBron, shut up and block. Nah, I can't. I can't. Nah, I need. I need. I need that energy from him, bro. Yeah, I need that energy need from, that from Isaac. So, we I mean, in the first week, and we get that from Zach. We don't need Broderick to do it and get a penalty. <laughs> we need. Nah, you know, you know, hey, look, you can do it within the confines without getting the penalty, dude. He don't and, 
Hey, Cam, yeah. and I know you he know this, Cam. Man. He do too much <laughs> ass. He's doing a picture to himself. Like, yo, bro, what are you doing? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> he the biggest one out there. He he got a five-yard head start running, knock somebody man, over. what? That bad would grab Humphrey off the line, try to sling him all the way back to the other sideline, bro. I was like, yo, what is you doing, bro? <laughs> Like you got him a lot. Shout out to Coach Tomlin. Coach Tomlin said something about him that made me chill out a little bit. Yeah, this is like, I actually loved he, it. He's still the youngest lineman on the squad, and I'm like, all right, cool. Well, you need to. He said, and block. he said he said he's younger than the new the new rookies on the team. That he was is. Wow. He, he is, is bro. <laughs> hey, 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 tech, it, my, I said I said before. I said now when we before we drafted him, I didn't necessarily want him because I knew he was a project. That was the perception. That. He was a project. But he I don't remember that either, Kev. Kev, I don't remember that either. No, I said I remember that. No, nah, you remember that. Oh. Ah! Ah, turn. <laughs> come on, Kev. Damn, come on, Kev. Nah, I ain't gonna do that, man. He said it on this show. He said it on this show, man. I can't do that, yeah. man. I can't do that. Hey, look. <laughs> but, but he here now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> here now, so I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Let, let the youngin' let the youngin be the youngin'. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I hope yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm definitely not. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a no for me too, man. That's hope a no for me too. Hope he's a small penalty. It ain't not holding. You know what I'm saying? How y'all feel about how y'all think George Pickens and uh, Broderick Jones communicate? Man, uh, man. Yeah. Hey, look. Hey, the hard knocks about to be here. That's what I'm about to be. Funny, yo, That's funny I love, for, the people funny. Out there, for the people out there in TV land that's <laughs> watching. Man. Or whatever, this is a little insight about football. Office alignment do not like skill players, they hate receivers, and receivers hate linemen because receivers don't understand what linemen do, and linemen understand what receivers do. So, we like stop bitching. <laughs> the Georgia, the Georgia. Y'all heard that different. key word he said was we. We. So the Georgia. We. Man. He's speaking on behalf of the hey. offensive lineman. Hey, my that's son. My son said that's facts, kid. That's a fact. <laughs> hey, yo, shout out to. I ain't gonna say his name. He passed away and shit. But me and him got into it every game because he wanted Girl. to talk to the lineman. I'm like, yo, shut the fuck up <laughs> and play your position. You <laughs> feel <laughs> me, like? Like, hey, I don't think I don't think George and, and Jones be like that though, bro. Them Georgia boys is different. <laughs> yeah. They different, yeah. yeah. Look, Plus they play together. Take it out on the yeah. other team. <laughs> he take it out on the other team. Pretty Plus much. They play, Plus they played together. Yeah, you know they, they, so they they got they got a report. Man, call it damn pro. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, yo, fellas, last break, and then we're gonna do our conclusion. Right, final predictions for this game, man. Now, which break am I going to go? Hmm. Oh, Lordy. I don't know which one I had. You feel me? I might play the other one again. So now I'm playing that. We'll be right back. TJ, that dude, the, let me let me emphasize, the best defensive player in the league. Yes, and in the game. The, the, the last stack he got to end the game, if you watch that during the slow-mo, yo, it looked like when Van Reigns got behind Jody, yeah. <laughs> number one. Well, not number one, but this is the first one I want to uh, call out. Arthur Smith, our OC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the reason why is because, bro, we're on third down. Why the hell are you being so predictable with the goddamn on play call? Yeah, man. Yeah, but quickly, because Terrence got to get out of here. You feel me? What's your final prediction for this game? I have it being very, very slow in the first half and then us, you know, just turning up the heat in the second half. So give me Steelers 27, oh. um, <laughs> Cleveland 14. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not close to my score. score. I ain't going to hold you, son. I ain't good with scores. I never do scores. <laughs> I, I said I was thinking 2410. Wow. I'm around them lines 2310. Same thing. All right, since y'all stuff is similar, 
Let me let me go outrageous with it. Still is 41 to 6. Damn. <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, for a road game, bro. Hey, that's, oh, hey, that's, hey, that's the Big Ben era of Cleveland uh, Steelers games. <laughs> uh, Lord, I had, I had a belt. I had a belt. <laughs> oh, belt the ass. Yeah. Hey, I'm with. I, oh, I feel please, that dude. Yeah. I hope you're right, <laughs> Cam. I hope you're right. Even though this is the uh, the road game for us, I hope the gods are right. We blow them out. Yeah, man. I, I, I just said because we want a short, we want a short, uh, we want a short week. That's yeah. the only thing, you know. Like yeah. when they come to short no, that's, weeks, that's like the reason the why I do a blowout out there just because it's a short week. Thursday night football games is ass. I ain't gonna hold you. You feel me? So, ooh, that's so a man. Show up. The other yeah. ones not gonna show up. We gonna show up because we beat the Ravens and no one got hurt. You remember Steelers and Ravens rivalry games? After those games. Guys were hurt. You're like, damn, we might lose it. Alex, didn't Alex, didn't Alex get hurt in that game? Nah, 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 nah. He, he got hurt before this game. Oh, that was the Commanders game. Yeah. That was the Commanders yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah, and Ben, uh. Ben is going to play. You feel me? He was the only one that got hurt that we thought was going to be out, and he's going to play on Thursday, so tomorrow. So, you know what I mean? It's your man, Kevin, you feel me? I'm going to let him go around the room and let these guys tell you what's up before we close this up. Yeah, they'll miss over the guy that got to get up out of here. You heard? <laughs> yeah, I agree. You're going to point to me, whatever. But what it do, man? It's your boy T Pitts. All right, you catch me everywhere. Booty TV, Pitts and Foot Sports Talk Radio, Pit Sports Zone. Catch me on Comcast, Channel 77, Verizon, Channel 11. It's going down. Man, Money Mitch. My podcast coming back next week. Next week. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to drop the name before the, by around the weekend. I'm going to drop the new name. And then hopefully I have my man T Pitts on there with me, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully I get my man Kev on there with me, you know what I'm saying? First episode I'm in there. I don't care what I'm doing. I could be you know in the middle saying? of something. I could be you know in the middle of something. Maybe Dre, maybe Dre slide through on, you know what I'm saying? Slide through one time, you feel me? But yeah. I'm on I'm on a, I'm on a lot of other podcasts too. We about to we about yeah. to do some some uh pause, some big things. You know what I'm saying? I need my I need my guys on board with me, pause, because that sounds crazy. But <laughs> I think I think he, got so he doubled down on that, man. <laughs> Double ball. Yeah, he, he said I got. I need, he said I got some big things coming. I need my guys with me, like double. I double said, win. I said, I said pause. He said pause though. He said pause. I said pause. He said pause. Look, look. He said it's okay, bro. Wait, 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 Terrence just said it. If you said it how Terrence just said it, yo, bro, I would, I would hit end stream right now. Right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is comedy hour. <laughs> Yo, like, before I get the hell out of here, I gotta say, you know, it is a pleasure doing this, doing the stream with these boys every single week. You know, y'all guys, you know, it's a good thing that we can give these people some entertainment and we can give them some informative Steelers content. You know, as always, you know, and this is what our fourth year doing this. So, I mean, this is a blessing for real. But anyway, you know, I was yeah. doing this since 2016. You're a gangster. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you got long, this podcast yeah. is supposed to be over when we won the Super Bowl, and I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, man. It's still the seven yeah. podcast, episode 172 to the book. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all can catch me. I don't know about the other guys, but y'all can catch me on D Show, still um the Stillish chat. I'm gonna hop on that joint. You feel me? And then yeah, after I'm that, I'm gonna hop on this too. See y'all, see y'all Friday, you heard? You say you're gonna be there, Mitch? Yeah, I'm gonna hop on there. All right, bet, man. Y'all can catch us over there, man. And we um thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. It's your man Kev Easy here. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and follow Stills for Seven Podcasts on all platforms. It's a new season, baby. Stills for Seven Podcasts. You already know what it is, man. Gang, gang, you already know what it is, man. It's another gang. It's a gang. It's the gang. You already know what it is, man. Just for that mom from Super Bowl.
Still us for seven, yeah, we about to go get it but Still a game, we win it Go down in the trenches, yeah We ain't trying to kick it like Drake We do it for the sixes, then we can kick it Yeah, this our division The other three go missing Come on, let's get it, yeah This our division Super Bowl, let's win it Still us for seven, yeah We about to go get it Still a game, we win it Go down in the trenches, yeah We ain't trying to kick it like Drake We do it for the sixes, then we can kick it Yeah, this our division The other three go missing Come on, let's get it, yeah this our division, Super Bowl, let's win it. <laughs>